Okay, so we are back. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, this is the next day, and it looks like War Vet times three has taken his UK turn. We'll go and take a look. Uh, he did. Looks like he took this, but he left his planes here. That's kind of what I was going for, so that he couldn't use them to defend India. Looks like he's online. That's good. Maybe get some turns in today. Now, what? Two, well, let's take a look and see what he did. What did he purchase? Four infantry and a fighter. So, um, three infantry here, maybe. One fighter, two infantry to India. Two infantry to. I don't know why he's continuing to buy infantry for the island. I mean, he's got the surplus here now, and. Gotta just, maybe he's thinking about it next round. Uh, what do you do for combat? Season 13. Destroyed my sub. Libya. Destroyed one tank. One infantry. One artillery. Lost two infantry. That's good. So. Can't build a transport and a destroyer this round because he's got guys within reach. But there will become an opportunity where I could do that if I wanted to. Um, really, more than anything, we're just going to see how he handles, how he plays Russia, how he defends it. Okay. So, Japan's turn. In Japan, we have 35 now. Got to be careful of this. So we have to build a complex. Absolutely a must if you're going to go for India especially. But we have to defend the island as well. So we have to calculate what can we take it with. We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <coughs> Excuse me. Plus eight is uh, 17 that we can bring to the battle. Plus two battleships, 19, cruiser, 20, and then five planes. And he's got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, plus the three he can build, 16, 17, 18, against 25. Eh, I don't know. Um... If I don't do it, he's going to, if I don't do it, he's going to truly go KJF and he's really going to start harassing me here. Um, instincts are to send everything through China, just completely wipe Russia out fast. Uh, but we have to build a complex and then we have to build a combination of units here. we're going to have one transport here with the battleships and the cruiser. Oh, is that a good move? That might not be good. One, two, three, four. So these planes can't hit. See zone 36. These three, however, can. I don't think he would do that. We can put a destroyer here. And then he can only attack with two infantry and two fighters. These, his bombers out of range, and his fighters can't hit Japan. But that's tricky, right? You got to be careful about that because they can get lucky. So if we build a destroyer, I could just take one here, but I want to build one. We can put four infantry there. We're going to be taking eight, so there's going to be one left over, so there'll be five units plus the anti-aircraft against four. Should be enough. Plus, I could put the bomber there this round. Because I could still reach one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to buy a destroyer. 
complex, complex goes here, not here. And we're going to stage for an attack on India. Well, my wife's asking me something here. All right, sorry about that. I had to do something there. Um, so when we do this, we have to calculate if he hits Japan, he can stack Japan's waters, sea zone 60. Won't take the island, or highly unlikely. I think the odds are 99% in my favor. So then we have to think about what are we going to do to offset that. We're going to have a complex here. We're going to have two battleships and a cruiser here at the end of round three. And we're going to have an aircraft carrier. So we make sure we have to make sure that we position our planes so that we can attack India and get back to the aircraft carrier. Actually, we could just move down. Because round two, he's going to go here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve that can hit back. He's going to have one, two, three, four, five. Probably won't have his planes, but he'll have these two. Six, seven. And he'll be one step closer. So, yeah, we can get back. So I was, just, I was just trying to demonstrate or maybe help visualize how you can still take India and... <coughs> excuse me. And get back. Um, round four, we want everything in C-Zone 61. Unless I'm missing something. Which I feel like I might be for some reason. Um... I'm going to take this and this. You know, I mean, and, and if you were ever worried about leaving just five units plus the any aircraft and maybe a bomber here against this attack, you could always bring these two guys back here and you could use them in the India attack instead and leave an extra two guys here. So that's something you could do as well. But I'm pretty confident that we're going to be okay. One, two. If he had his bomber here, that might be a different story. Or bomber here, I should say. It's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, he still couldn't use it. Four, five, six, four, five, six. He's got his bomber here now, though. I gotta be careful about. Can't leave anything here. Not that we're gonna anyway. So what did I build? <laughs> okay. Now there's a chance. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here. He could try to attack that. One. One, two, three, four. He could attack that with seven infantry, or maybe strafe it with seven infantry and two fighters, or four, five planes. These planes can't hit C zone 36. So the question is are two battleships and a cruiser enough to defend against three f planes? And I think the answer is yes, because we actually don't really need the battleships and the cruiser hit if he loses his planes. So that's fine. We'll do that. All right. So attack moves. Um, we're not going to do anything here. We are going to move two guys here. 
we are going to attack this. Now, one, two, three, four. We're going to leave the planes here. Then we can go one, two, three. Wait. Um, one, two, three, four. We've only got one carrier anyway, so we can send three guys here. <coughs> Sorry, two guys here. And then have two guys here. Hope that makes sense to everyone. Could kill this too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. We're going to actually land the planes here. Let him see if he wants to try and take that. It just means I'll take it next turn. So that's a plan. Of course, assuming that we get Kazakh. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with the two planes against seven, and five is 12. <coughs> And we can actually bring two guys here, too. So that's 11 for us. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so... Um, so let's do that. It's non-combat. carrier down here too if I'm worried about an attack so we're okay all right let's go Get some luck here it's two and two So we want the transport here, obviously, because we're going to pick up the two guys from East Indies. We'll put these two guys here. Um, is that a smart move, though? I don't know if that's a smart move. He could hit it. But how much does he have to spend? He's got 27 to spend, so he can build nine units. Well, eight units. He's going to need every one of them to... Yeah, he's in desperation mode. I don't want to uh, put my planes in jeopardy there. Actually, I'll just bring them back to here. The bomber.
bomber's going to go here. Uh, the two battleships are going to go here. The cruiser's going to go here. Uh, we built a destroyer. It's going to go here. So we can bring these guys and these guys. And we can bring the other transport. It's going to bring... destroyers against two fighters. I'm going to I'm going to leave the cruiser there. I should be enough. Two cruisers. Or sorry, cruiser two destroyers to protect two transports. Should be enough. Again, if he had his bomber closer, I'd be more worried about that, but he doesn't. And then I've got the two battleships, aircraft carrier, and two fighters to protect against three planes. More than enough. Okay. So that looks good. We've got one, two, and we're adding four. It's going to be six units plus the bomber, seven against four. Plenty. Destroyer here here. Four infantry here. Let's see what he does. All right, he's offline, but he was online just a minute ago. So I'll pause here and we'll see if he jumps back on to take his turn. Because I'm really curious to see what how he plays this. Um, it's going to be interesting. So we'll pause it here and uh, we'll jump back on when it's uh, our opponent's turn. Okay, so well, it looks like, um, sorry, I'm just clearing my mouth of spaghetti. Looks like he's taking his turn. I'm really curious to see how he played this. Let's go ahead and take a look. And then he did attack. And got thoroughly, no, he didn't attack. That's interesting. What do you buy? Two tanks, two infantry, two transports, and one destroyer. Okay. I think. Oh, wait. took out my transports. Okay. Conducted in Algeria. Destroyed two destroyers and one cruiser and two transports and lost one fighter. What did he bring to that? Two fighters? Come on. Ugh. I left the cruiser there on purpose. That's a problem now. Okay. So now he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Eight, nine. I can build. So 
So I have to take India now because I have to build there. Um, I should have anticipated that there's a possibility he could take that, but two fighters, two threes against two twos and a three. I have to check the odds on that, but I think it's only 30% in his favor. So he got some good luck, which is fine. CC's had pretty much terrible luck leading up to this. But I have to think about this. Um, I have to know how much I have to spend here. 38. He didn't commit anything here. So, that was a mistake. Maybe he wasn't anticipating winning that either. I don't know. But I would have. You got to pick a side, folks. I mean, if you're watching these videos, you can't do this. I mean, you can, but it's, it's not significant. Germany's ignoring you. And then he should have taken advantage of it because now I am in a pickle. carrier here and I guess a battleship that'll give me uh, another carrier and a battleship will give me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve he's got how many did I say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so we should be okay because he's not reinforcing it we will lose one of these territories up here temporarily. He, he did attack here with his Russians, it looks like. He took out two, lost two. Didn't do anything here. The question is, can I take that? That's what we're gonna look at right now. So I'm gonna pause this, run the odds on that and see if we can take Russia. So stay with me. So I'm gonna I'm running the numbers here. He I've got ten infantry, seven armor, three fighters, and two bombers that can reach Russia. He's got seventeen infantry defending, one fighter, and he's got two any aircraft. So I'm just instead of clicking this, it doesn't seem to work right. I'm gonna put in two bombers here as a hit back at one. Kind of skew the numbers a little bit, but in his favor, so I'll have to take that into account. We'll do all as if we're gonna take it ten thousand times. Pure luck, nineteen forty two run. I think I have 100% chance of winning this. Yeah, 95%. So we're going to do that. So let's take out Russia now. And if we don't, Japan can, well, maybe not. Let's see. We have to do it now because he could put guys here, like planes, although probably not a good idea. So we're going to build for that. He still has two planes that can reach me. Can't build anything here. Nothing here. Wait, one, two, three, four. So we're actually going to build two tanks because he's going to be able to do something here. And it's, it's going to cause problems for a round or two, so we have to be prepared for that. So we're going to put two tanks here. <clears throat> Because there's, well, actually, we're going to build another bomber because we're going to, might lose one. And we're going to build two infantry, two artillery. Another tank and an infantry. Let's do it. Okay. So we're going to attack this. about all this <laughs> attack attack I've actually done the, the strat bomb by accident before
another opportunity maybe to put that transport there. Um, that's all we can do. So let's, uh, let's 22 against 18, 20. Let's see. Let's go. Russia first. We're going to take the plane here. Again, no danger, zero danger in the North Atlantic. Um, there is a danger here if he brings his guys this way. He, there is a chance that he can sneak attack me here or maybe go to some sort of half-assed Mediterranean shuck or something. I don't know. But now that we've got Russia, we can actually take this risk here and not worry so much about this. So that's what we're going to do. And everything has been moved. And then we're going to let um, Japan gobble up all this. Germany doesn't need it. We'll let Japan gobble it up. Bomber in the back. Three tanks up front. One artillery up front. Back here. So again, he's been he's been going offline and then coming online to take his turn. I'll, so I'll pause this again. We should have a really big lead. Yep, 52 point lead. Um, uh, Germany's going to have 71 to spend. <coughs> Excuse me. Which is massive. That means India. This is this is. I mean, I I forfeit at this point really as the allies. It's a round three Russia loss and India too, because now I can take it and not worry about all this nonsense. So we'll pause it, see if he comes back to the game, and then he'll probably either take his UK turn and then forfeit, or watch me take India and then forfeit. But it's, there's no shame in forfeiting. He had terrible dice. It's it is what it is. I'll be back. <laughs> 